Welcome back to Minecraft for Life. I'm Nishana. Today we are building the Chicago Bears logo, the second of these two logos right here, the loser and victor. Roger Zones, you guys don't ever forget it. I'm just kidding. I'm just a massive Packers fan. Honestly, do you know what it's like to be a Packers fan in Illinois? I'm just kidding. But there are lots of there are a lot more Packers fans in Illinois than there are Chicago Bears fans in uh Wisconsin. But like it it doesn't add up because Packers fans are some of the most welcoming and kind fans ever. It's so local that like we even like Packers fans outside of Lambeau Field, they even let, you know, people park in their like driveways. They they got to pay, but it's still super generous. And so yes, being a Packers fan, this is just how I get over my grief for the special team screwing us over in the divisional round. But by the way, before we get started, what is that wheezing noise I always hear when when I'm like listening back to this to these voiceovers oh my god i'm not even wheezing i'm just talking it's never happened before i mean it could be the sound quality unusual but definitely a possibility but uh let's get into the video as always please help me reach my goal which is inspiring people to build logos on minecraft just like jaybro's gaming inspired me i just found out it was these flying creatures so we're gonna need some blue wool white wool and orange wool so we you can use black wool if you want to do the loser thing once again bears fans don't mean to offend you this is optional so for blue wool we're going to start by putting uh six and then going up we're going to uh put four to the right and then three to the right and then two to the right so it's it's kind of like that circle thing except with the five it's it's a six instead now, so it's uh, three individual blocks, and then it's going to be two up and uh, three up. So it, it, it almost totally resembles like one of those circle designs. And now we're going to go directly to the left, and we're going to put six more, and then we're going to put one under, and then we're going to uh, put one down, and then two to the left, and then uh, three to the left, and then six to the left. You know, kind of a big jump from three to six doesn't matter. Okay, so going up now, we're gonna uh, we're gonna put uh, four to the left. Uh, then we're gonna put two to the left. Then we're gonna put two individual blocks up, and then we're gonna put two up. So the reason I like to clarify is to is a distinction. Uh, and then we're gonna put uh, four up, and then we're gonna put two up again, except to the right. Now we're going to put just one. Oh, jeez. Okay. And then we're going to put uh, two to the right, then five to the right, and then six to the right. Is that five? Yes, it is. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now going down, we're going to take another step, another jump from six to three this time. So three to the right, then just one, and then we're going to put eight to the right yeah talk about an even bigger jump okay f uh, six seven eight wait hold on oh that's nine my bad sorry so put eight so sorry i just it's a good thing that i counted because it would have been another error this is my second attempt so we're gonna put two on top of that and going back to the left we're gonna put uh three individual blocks up and then we're gonna put two to the left uh three to the left uh, four to the left and then five to the left. So this is it. This resembles like the circle design even more. Now we're gonna go back down. So we're gonna put uh, four to the left, three to the left, and two to the left, like we just did. Except once you add that two to the left, you're gonna add another two to the left. And now we're gonna put uh, three individual blocks down yet again. Then we're going to put two down twice and then we're going to put three individual blocks down another time and then we're going to put two blocks down to the right now we're going to put two down twice again and then we're going to put four individual blocks down so not three but four and then we're going to finish it off by putting two to the right Three to the right and four to the right. Uh, so sorry for going too fast, but you can you can definitely see like what's going on. But um, 
I'm not, so right now we gotta go around the outside, inside of course, but with white wool. So I, I'm not gonna speed it up because it's not something you like speed up, especially with something like the New Orleans Saints. It had like a mini twist or something. But um, this is also because it would probably, it's so easy, it would probably take like a really short time to complete. Well, knowing me, I'd definitely make it long, but um, I'm not really gonna speed it up. Well, what's that? Did I accidentally just speed this thing up? Oh my god. Well, now I'm no longer in the mood to fix it. Just like the Bears are fixing how bad their team is. Oh my god, that was such a bad joke. I'm so sorry. I, I know I'm not a funny person, but... Oh, jeez. Uh, and, you know, I I get it, the Bears are bad and Rogers owns them, but, you know, they were good in 2018. I mean, if you want that to hang your hat on bears. Uh, but so now we're going to finish this up by coloring it in orange. And after that, you can do the loser thing. Uh, so if you want to do that, stick around. Um, if you don't, you can just skip to the end where I say, there you guys have it. The Chicago Bears logo is finished. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Or you could just click off. I mean, I guess no. maybe I shouldn't tell you guys to just click off, but... I mean, you, you can do it for this because, you know, like, the the logo is basically completed. So, yeah, stick around if you want to. Hop off if you want to. I'm fine with either because, like, I, I'm not, like, there in person with you guys. So, um, if I was, I'd definitely hunt you down if you hopped off. But um, now we're going to do the loser thing. Um, I'm a Packers fan, so I love being petty. So, these uh, three middle of the five right here. So, we're going to skip one. You can skip more if you want, but whatever. So we're going to place two to the right of that. And so do you know how in S you're going to build two up, then two to the left, two up again, two to the right? I'm going to go to the left. So we're going to skip one to the left, and it's going to be an O. So it's gonna we're going to place four more on top, two to the left, four on the bottom, and one to fill that gap. And now we're going to do the L, so two to the left or to make three, and then uh, we're going to place four up. So it's pretty straightforward. So now we're going to go to the right voice crack. And so it's going to be a five. And then we're going to place two to the right of the first, third, and fifth blocks. And then for the R, we're going to place five. And then from the top, we're going to place two to the right, then two down, and then one to the left, and then one under that, and then one to the right and down. It's going to look something like that, okay? So there you guys have it. The Chicago Bears logo is finished, topped off with some Packer pettiness. I'm just kidding. We are actually some of the most welcoming and um, nice fans in the whole NFL, as I said in the intro. But um, once again, Bears fans, I did not mean to offend you. This was just to be uh, purely comedic and funny. I know I'm not a funny person, as I said, but uh, still wanted to put in some little some jokes, you know, so much because of the Packers-Bears rivalry. But um, that's it. See you guys. Go Warriors.